Welcome! In this video, I'll be showing you how I used a Python script that I wrote to figure out which Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu submissions are the most popular in professional grappling. Basically what happened was I was reading a lot of articles talking about which submissions were the most popular when it came to the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu professional scene. However, I didn't see them list any numbers, there were no stats to back it up, so I decided to do some research myself. I myself practice Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, hence the gi and the, the white belt. I've been training for about a year and a couple months, and like any good white belt, instead of actually going to practice and bettering my skills, I'm writing a Python script to, to help me cheat a little bit, right? Help me get some shortcuts and figure out which submissions are the most effective to practice. Basically, what I want this script to tell me, which submissions are the most effective when it comes to competition, specifically in the professional scene. Now to explain the process. So I wrote a web scraper that's basically just going through this list of professional Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters, right? All of them on BJJHeroes.com. And it's going through each individual page and tallying up which submissions they used in order to get their wins. For example, if we go to, let's go to Marcelo Garcia. I'm gonna control F this real quick. Marcelo ba -ba -ba Garcia. If we click on Marcelo Garcia's name, right? We'll see a picture of the man, the goat himself. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have this, right? We're gonna have a list of all of the wins that Marcelo got in his professional career as well as the way in which he achieved those wins. So what my script is doing is it's going through all of these individual fighters' pages, it's looking at which submissions they used in order to achieve victory, and it's tallying all of that up so we can look at that data at the end and figure out in professional jiu-jitsu which submissions tend to be the most effective, or at least the most sought after. Now it's time to show you all the code running, right? So as you can see down here, I've already clicked play, and my code is currently going through every single individual fighter's page, right? We see Aaron Johnson up top, right? And that is starting our tally up for all of the submissions, right? And as we go through, you could actually see the numbers gradually increase, right? We see choke from back went from six to 42 after we went to Adam Wardinsky. I'm assuming that Adam had a lot of chokes from the back in order to win. Right, and we could see all of these different submissions slowly counting up as we continue to go through the list that I showed you all before on BJJ Heroes, right? This list right here. Once again, this web scraper is just going through each of these individual pages and it's queuing up all of the wins and the method of those wins and adding it to this tally system that we see here. Now, outside of just the output that we get from the script in that console that I showed you before, it also creates this chart. Now I know, I'm not great at matplotlib, right? That's the Python library for creating charts and all of the X axis labels got a little messed up. Um, so I'm gonna just reformat these with the top 10 on my own. So here is a less ugly version of the previous chart, right? I just basically took the, the top 10 most common submissions used to win the match and I threw it into this bar chart. Um, so as we see here, unsurprisingly, chokes from the back. I know it's a vague term, but uh, that's just how they had it on bjjheroes.com. Um, chokes from the back came in first with over 1,800 uh, uses in order to achieve victory. Then we have, once again, unsurprisingly, arm bar, rear naked choke. Once again, I know that this is going to be lumped in or it should have been lumped in with choke from back. That is not how they did it in the data set. I'll show you in just a moment some of the complications with working with their data, like, you know, what some of those complications are. Um, where we start getting to the more surprising end of the stick, right, as we see knee bars are actually quite common in professional jujitsu. This is probably going to be propped up by a lot of the new no-gi guys, right? A lot of the, the new meta when it comes to no-gi jujitsu, right? Being knee bars, some toe holds, heel hooks, right? And then the last one that I found a little surprising, right? And this number is actually probably on the lower end because it's really only going to apply to people who are fighting in the gi, right? Bow and arrow chokes actually made the list with just over 200 uh, uses in order to achieve victory. So now the question is, what conclusions can we draw from this data? And if you're thinking that the conclusion is that every single Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner should start practicing knee bars all day, especially on unsuspecting white belts, <laughs> I'm in danger. You know, it's missing the mark a little bit, right? The real thing that we're trying to show here is that even for high level practitioners, there are a lot of submissions that you are practicing in the gym right now. For example, arm bars, rear naked chokes, straight ankle locks, right? That work at a high level. The other takeaway, one thing that was actually quite surprising for me is despite the fact that the leg lock game 
has really just exploded in recent years, right? It's really hasn't been too prevalent for too long. We are seeing knee bars, toe holds, inside heel hooks, outside heel hooks start creeping their way into the most commonly used submissions in order to achieve success. Obviously, once again, this is going to be primarily prevalent in no-gi jiu-jitsu, right? We do see that the new meta of no-gi tends to be uh, specifically leg locks, right? But it is something to note when it comes to practicing your techniques. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope if you're a programmer, right, you don't criticize my code too much. I'm a mediocre coder at best. It's not what I do primarily for work. Um, and if you're a Brazilian jiu-jitsu person, I hope this was a cool little intro infusion with tech that you enjoyed. If you all are interested in seeing a video of me breaking down my code line by line, I can absolutely do that. I wanted to keep this video a little bit lighter and a little bit more on the entertainment side. Feel free to smash that like button, submit the subscribe button, you know, do whatever you feel is fair and necessary. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.